fancy pants Play the songs that make us dance Play the tunes that make the ladies swoon A song for all the lonely hearts Shattered dreams and broken parts Feels like sunny days are coming soon Hey, Mr. Buttercup Spin the wheel and try your luck The spotlight shining bright tonight on you Back when tonight's the night when all your dreams come true. Welcome back to the Lesser Saints of Discord, your one and only pre-show fuck you, Fat Pat and Sophane, uh, for t trying to take our time slot. Uh, it's pre-show for the YouTube Saints. Uh, we're here every day at 5.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Or, you know, before the Saints start. not. Really, we're here when we feel like it. We just happen to feel like it's going to be 5.30. We might change the rules on you without even telling you. That would be great for our subscriber count. Yeah, we'll, we'll do the pre-show during the real show some week. Exactly. Hello. It's, no, you know what we should do is we should do the pre-show uh, at the same time as the real show, and they're the guests on our show, and we're the guests on their show, and then and we just like constantly that. argue about whose show it actually is the whole time. <laughs> yeah, we can do a dual stream. Oh, Nick, that'd be, Jeff. That'd be fun. We should do it. It'll be fun. I know you're not watching, but that's an idea. <laughs> it's an idea, and now it's recorded for posterity, because we definitely won't yeah. delete this video, ever. Yeah. How could we? No. Uh, we, we run by our standard of never deleting videos. I didn't even know we had one of those, but... Alright, okay. I, we I do guess now. That's what we do. <laughs> yeah, we do now. <laughs> so as far as news for the Discord uh, and everything, I'm just gonna put this out there. I was not present for this, but I feel I should comment. Sorry, um, Gator. <laughs> apparently there was a, a stream that happened wherein someone may or may not have been doing art and they may or may not have been other people who are not familiar with the Discord watching, and some people may or may not have tried, shall we say, to get said streamer kicked off of Twitch. I don't know if that's exactly what happened, but my informant tells me that things got uh, pretty damn racisty. And, uh, well, that's all fun and games. Good for jokes, good for laughs. When you are on the airwaves, when you're being recorded for posterity, when people can go and look at what you're saying and they don't know you and they don't know the inside jokes and they don't necessarily know what your sarcasm voice sounds like, maybe, just maybe, if you're really, really tired of getting lumped in with racists and sexists and homophobes and bigots, when, when, you, when you feel like you're not any of these things and people keep telling you that you are, Maybe it's a good idea to not encourage them to think that of you. Just saying. Anyway, if that's of use yeah. to you, mull on it, think on it, do what you do, live in a way that you wouldn't be ashamed, have your parrot at your funeral, etc., etc. Um, yeah, and on that, I'm sorry, Gator. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll talk about the banner later. There may or may not be monetary compensation happening, isn't it? Just fucking capitalism! I don't even know what I'm talking so, about. So, some, some reparations, I guess. <laughs> yep. And just for, for your uh, listening pleasure, I have started drinking. I'm not done by a long shot, 
and I'm already less coherent than usual. So, you know what? We're just going to keep going, and Jables, at this point, if I am on the floor, we'll cut parts of the video later. I can do that, but I trust no, you to carry the no, show we're, if we're, I have we're problems. Fine. We're, we're, fine. We're, we, we're fine. We are fine. So, uh, so, so... See, the more you drink, the better you get at it. It's a, it's a practice thing. Oh, no, I've got plenty uh. of practice, but the thing is, like, I've got the best of both worlds. See, some people are like, oh, you need to you need to have, like, this badass liver where you can drink so fucking much and then not get passed out and all that, and that's that's awesome, that's great, good for you. And then no, there's the people... Money. And then that's... there's... Well, no, then there's the people who are like, oh, man, you gotta, you know, drink in moderation, be really careful, and, you know, and then, then it's kind of like with weed, where if you don't smoke it very often, you're lightweight and a little bit gets you really high. And then, so, yeah. so that way, when you do get drunk, you get really drunk, and it's fun. And then, and then, you've got the people who are just like, oh, I, I'm really good with, like, the water and everything, so I don't get hangovers. And So I've got the best of all, of all three of these. It takes an ungodly amount before I have to pass out. I will feel half a beer. Easily. So, a couple shots of anything will get me a very comfortable buzz. And then on top of all of that, I don't feel any of it in the morning because it all metabolizes in like two hours. Yeah. <laughs> My liver is magical and I really should like be nicer to it, but I'm not. <laughs> You have no idea the abuse I put my liver through. Um, Dude, I, I bullied my liver into being my drug dealer. I'll tell you the story later. It's actually kind of yeah, funny. Let's, let's do that off air. I'm not actually lying about that either. <laughs> okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. In a, <laughs> Oh, also, my mom's now a subscriber. Hi, mom. Hi, Jables' mom. <laughs> nice to meet you or not meet you, whatever. I hope I don't disappoint you. I don't well, know. Fine. I Really, what I'm saying there is I hope you walked in with no expectations. So. <laughs> she expects nothing. Nothing good to come out oh, of this. Oh, God. So. <laughs> then, all right, I'm going to disappoint her and make something good come out of this. Stay in school, kids. Don't do drugs. Anyway, um... Uh, what were we gonna go to school, next? Don't do school, do the drugs, stay in the drugs. Don't, don't do... <laughs> yes! I like this plan. <laughs> stay in drugs. <laughs> Alright, so I, I'm gonna go ahead and do magic. Uh, Excalibur. Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't even know what we're doing. Cause oh, the I just I switched the over... News. No, I switched over to our magical cutout thing. Because what uh, I'm gonna okay. do here is I'm gonna be like... You know, a little bit. I'm, I'm waving my fingers in front of the screen. I tend to move my hands a lot when I talk. So there's a lot of visual parts of this gag that you're not getting, and it's not even funny with them. So I can't imagine how bored you all are right now. Um, Sam! Keep in mind, I, I am naked because it's hot as fuck over here right now. I mean, uh, okay, are you naked because it's hot as fuck, or is it hot as fuck because you're naked? Because, I don't know, could be a little bit of both. A combination <laughs> of the two, definitely. <laughs> Oh, jeez. All right, starting off the stream goofy. Yeah, <laughs> d damn right we are. So I'm going to oh, go ahead yeah. and get this. Oh, okay. shit. That's... Oh, yeah, that's right. The, the smoking gun. That's right. the, the smoking gun, because yeah. our topic for this is totally not guns and triggers and guns. Uh, anyway, uh, so the smoking gun is a site that one of our Discord people, Heroic Nyko, sent me a little while ago. And he just, we mentioned, uh, I, I mentioned, Jables and I were talking about the show, like, in a voice chat with a bunch of other people. And one of us mentioned, like, oh, yeah, we're always just looking for news articles, and usually Jables just sends me stuff, like, ten minutes before the show, and I'm like, yep, that looks funny, and I put it in, and then we look at it, it's the first time I've seen it. There but, was nothing this week, goddamn. As far as I can tell, Nyko thought this was absolutely hilarious, so he just found this site and started sending me headlines, and he got to, like, 30 of them before I noticed what he was doing, and I was just dying laughing reading him. So apparently whatever this site is, it, it keeps track... I, I don't know. Apparently it's a good time waster. I'm going to have to waste a lot of time on it. I haven't been through it. But just looking at it, I went to the documents section, and we're going to go through and read some of these headlines because they look amazing. Friday photo fun match game. Okay, I don't care. But probationer tried to pass off meth prescription. No, no, officer, you don't understand. I have a condition. It's called needing more meth. Um... Let's see. Crime spree prompted by zombie fears. Illinois uh, Illinois man's uh, meltdown fueled by drugs. Fri what? Let's see. Flor <laughs> Florida man daughter in shock arrest. I actually went and read this article. Apparently, uh, Florida man and his daughter were caught banging in their backyard and then charged with incest. Because that's a crime in Florida. Which Your I daughter's people. 
I'm just I'm just amused as hell by that. It's just like they're just like, actually no, I'm gonna click on that because it's really funny. And that was that was March first, by the way. So we've got let's see. I mean, doesn't this just look like Florida man? But yes, uh, Justin Bunn, 39, his daughter Taylor reportedly admitted to this consensual or cons- consensual um, February 18th encounter. Police say. Following his arrest Tuesday, Justin Bunn was reportedly or reportedly confessed to having sex with his daughter, but stated it was an isolated incident. Taylor Bunn, police report, also made several admissions about having sexual intercourse with her father. This I just sometimes. What happened? <laughs> um, apparently, they have been ordered to not have contact in any, or to have no contact in any manner with each other. Any manner being in quotes. Oh, so that oh, just. And and she, oh, oh, it's worth noting, she's 19, so apparently she's legal, just not that legal, especially if you're not her dad, or if you are her dad. Just Jesus Christ, people! Why? Yeah, I, I, you know, this this runs with. Uh, I mean, I kind of have the standard of don't fuck your kids, but you know, she is of legal age. I, it, it's it's a it's a weird thing where I have to battle with my principles on this one. <laughs> like, all right. So please, nobody hold me to this because this is by no means like an authoritative, definitive statement of what I believe. But my sort of inclination on thinking this is, it's like, it's messed up. Don't do it. It's disgusting. It's a terrible thing. But at the same time, if like two consenting adults are going to go and do something, and you're not talking about any risk of you know, deformed child, you know, presumably they're being very safe about this. Then again, I would hope that they are, but they're probably not. This is Florida man we're talking about. But if there's no outside harm to anyone else, you're not dealing with someone who can't consent and all that, and that's an argument you could make. I don't know that the law should really get involved. Public shaming, yes, absolutely. Um, But... The law, I don't know. In either case, it'd be much yeah. easier to get them both on a public obscenity charge or something like that. Maybe the streaking is le- illegal in most places. So, yeah, whatever. They, well, they were outside. They were outside. That's another thing. But yeah. So let's let's go down and see some more. Please hunt for wet floor sign bandits. Um. Um. Wait, what? <laughs> I I don't even know. Uh, cops seek help uh, in nabbing family dollar duo is the subtitle on that. Uh, man force-fed goat cocaine and booze, cops say. Jailed for animal cruelty. Uh, perp faces boot. Oh, okay, apparently this guy's not a U.S. citizen. Let- let's actually look at this. Excuse me. <sighs> All right. Horse trainer is locked up on a felony as- uh, as animal cruelty charge after Georgia cops obtained video showing him force-feeding a goat cocaine and whiskey. Oh. What the hell? You didn't need to do that to- Man, I wish I was that goat. You don't even need to force feed them. You can just leave it out. They will eat anything and the can it was in. Yeah, well... Oh my god, whiskey in a can. That I, just hurt me. Why did I even think yeah, that? Yeah. Don't... But, I mean... Oh, this is the first one that Nike sent I want me. this. I want this guy to be my friend. He's force feeding things, cocaine and booze. That's perfect. That's right up my alley. Actually, that reminds me. I read a book recently called uh, Soon I Will Be Invincible. Anyone who likes superhero fiction, worth a read. Very fun. Um... There was a phrase that they kept using. It was fast, faster than a cocaine heartbeat. Huh. Isn't that a fun phrase? I, I just like that. That's a fun turn of phrase. Uh, so we've got the kingpin granny busted for op- opioid distribution. Apparently, this is a 75-year-old woman who was selling pain pills out of her home. And this is kind of amazing. Search of Jordan's home yielded Whoa. more than 1,000 pills seen below, including painkillers like morphine and oxycodone and the anti-anxiety drug Xanax. Investigators also seized more than twelve thousand dollars in quote cash and assets unquote. Yeah, what the maybe hell? I just, maybe I need to. Maybe I need to start scoping out this website so I can find friends. The, maybe. Uh, <laughs> I, I like the people that these articles are written about. I, I particularly like this one. Seven Eleven worker survives Cuban missile attack. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, Patron struck employee oh. with pressed sandwich. Oh, uh, oh, hold on. Oh, I accidentally unplugged okay. my headphones. That was terrible. That's, but... just, a, that's just a clever title. Yeah, right. a 7-Eleven worker was struck in the face with a Cuban sandwich thrown by an aggrieved customer who had complained that the food item was not sufficiently warm, according to cups, or cops, cops, uh, cops who arrested the patron for battery. 
Oh, that Dude. is beautiful. <laughs> There's an article I saw this week uh, about a a Miami Cuban sandwich. It was a Cuban sandwich that was, for some reason, had a new name now because it had something to do with Miami. Miami Somewhere. Cubans are pretty common. Um, so I'd... <laughs> oh, this is one that you'll be amused by. Inmates Weave had hid coke, meth, and 78 doses of LSD. Ooh. Stash discovered See? under woman's fake hair. See, this is... Yeah, I, I need to get on this website and start making some friends. Yeah, damn, naked like guy was people. naked guy was tripping <laughs> covered in oil. That's a good one. I like that. So these are all from fairly recent. These are all uh, February, March of this year. But if you I, I, you can't actually see it on the stream though, but we've got an archive here that apparently goes all the way back to ninety seven. So I'm gonna click on ninety nine and see what kind of sh stuff shows up. Uh, Oprah, keep quiet or else. Baseball bookie and more. Pokemon madness. What? Uh, a smokescreen from the inside, or, ah, whatever. Uh, Andy Kaufman's hanging with Elvis, whatever. Um, wow, these these are just boring looking. Pokemon mm -hmm. Madness is that talking about Pokemon go to the polls? I I guess. <laughs> um, wow, I guess the news was just boring in '99. Let's look at 2009, ten years later. Wait, hold on. Driver Just had point seven oh eight now. alcohol content. Mug shots of the decade. Oh, whatever. Don't care. Uh, TMZ falls for JFK photo hoax. Beautiful. Checking TMZ. I like it. Uh, JFK and those naked gals. FBI took a shot at ja or took shot at Jackson. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Break, breaking news, guys. Uh, pizza stand has gulags. That's worrying. <laughs> oh, oh, I like this one. So. Eighth graders in oral plea. Students engaged in classroom sex while teacher present. Interesting. Uh, lingerie <clears throat> league gets li um, litigious or litig litig. I, I think that's a soft G. Litigious. Um, ex players threatened with lawsuits over beefs aired online. Uh, unless you kill me, alleged extortionist feared dangerous letterman. Okay. And I like this one here. Tigers Mall male cheerleader. Two Mizzou women's basketballers busted for assault. So remember how a bunch of crazy stuff happened at Mizzou, including, um, you know, what's her name? You need to get out. Did You can't have a camera here. Blah, blah, blah. I need some muscle. That person. Yeah. Yeah, so apparently uh, their women's basketball team beat the, sh like several years earlier, beat the shit out of a male cheerleader or something. Jesus Christ. All right, well, that's, that's yeah, wait, good. Wait, are you telling me women can also be bigots? Are you telling me that women can also <laughs> hurt people with their fists without being armed and potentially shouldn't hit people if they're not prepared to be hit back? Because if you are, I mean, that's none no. of my business. Yeah, no, no, women are women are all just uh, beautiful little angels. I'm not going to say that this reflects my opinions, but there's a friend of mine, uh, if you're watching this, hi, Sam. Um, actually, I should probably, I'm not going to be any more specific than that, but like, Sam, if you don't think you said this, then it, you're probably not the Sam I'm talking about. Um, I know several Sams, it's, it's an issue. But one of the, one of the Fuck ways Sam's. he, the one of the ways he described it is he's like, <laughs> trying to, I'm trying to remember exactly what he said, or at least close enough, but he's like, he, like I remember he was like, yeah, yeah, no, I'm all about equal rights. I'm like, Really, Sam? Really? This was years ago, but he just was like the last person I would have expected to hear it from. Or maybe not the last, but he's like, yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, I, I definitely, like, my, my idea of equality and everything is I want to be able to walk into a bar, and if someone picks a fight with me, I don't have to pay attention to who it is, and just, you know, beat the fuck out of them. <laughs> you know? I, 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 I you know, like, if, if, a ch if a chick comes up to me and starts a fight with me... You know, I, I don't care. Equal rights. I want to be able to lay the, you know, layer the fuck out. Boom. Feminism. <laughs> it's just like, yep. huh. Interesting way to put it. That's kind of fun. <laughs> but anyway. Uh, uh, no, so so we're, we're, we're probably demonetized and about to get banned. So maybe we should move on from this lovely, horrible, time-wasting <laughs> site. By the way, if you haven't had your life sufficiently ruined, go to TV Trip someday. It'll absorb the rest of your time. Enjoy never getting yeah. anything done ever again. Yeah, well, I mean, it only took Anita Sarkeesian five years and millions of dollars to make 21 videos. Um, whatever. Do you think it was TV Trust that did that, or do you think it was buying shoes? Uh, 
I think she's a fucking scam artist, dirty, lying bitch whore. Um, we are so just all over the place <laughs> today. We don't have specific articles. Like, what is going on? No, Nothing is man, happening. We're just, we're just talking about guns again this week because that's we all are. that's in the fucking news. You know what? Uh, <laughs> I I kind of if if Rimshi's not around yet, I kind of want to just bring Bread in here and just repeatedly trigger uh, him because I'm legitimately curious yeah, if fun. Bread triggers will make yeah. this show into an assault weapon. Yeah, uh, Rimshi's back, but let's start with bread this week. Yeah, let's just, <sighs> wait. Oh, he's not here yet. I can do magic. You wanna, you wanna go ahead and add him to the call? I think you can do that. Uh, can I do that? It, with, ma with magical I powers. That? I mean, I can do it yeah, too. Yeah, I think. I... Bread! There you are. Oh. Uh, wait, is bread here? Is he alive? His thing is uh, bread. Uh, yeah, it's, you know, it's, he's just an idiot. Um, I'm gonna hit the button. Oh no, oh, Jables, I can probably hear you now again. Sup? Hey, Brett's hey. here. Now now I can click the button and make you appear for realsies on the thing. So, uh... <sighs> oh, wait, we also need to give you so the, the my circle link. Those, uh, those high-capacity rapid-fire three caliber assault magazines. Ah, uh, yeah, the, the 30 caliber magazine clip? How long it takes the spring to <laughs> well, Seriously, Jables, if that's the case, I'm gonna shove up your ass and see how long it takes before the spring to just fucking goes. Go, go ahead and hop in there. Now I I know I sent you something to sent you something, Brad, and I, I think I don't I don't think you blocked it's my me. circle? No, I sent you my oh, I, I put a my circle link in the group DM, but I sent you with a thing a little you. while ago. Cause cause Rimshi and I were just kinda chatting back and forth. Yeah, and I saw it. Yeah. Fuck you. I know. And I'm gonna go ahead and repeat it here, because it's not a quote from anyone, I just kinda made it up, but uh, for those who don't know, Brad is not terribly fond of me talking about sports because even though I'm completely accurate about it, somehow it just kind of doesn't sound right to him. Um, so I, I went ahead and just kind of no, sent him a little message. He thinks he's here. accurate about it. He thinks he's accurate about it. But let's. Keep I, I I don't know about you, but I know exactly how many runs you need to score in a game of fucking Quidditch. Wait, are we gonna? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so you know, I'm just, if you're insult the game, it's not the real fucking game. Okay, so it is unfortunately a real game. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead wait, hold on. Jables, let me read this off though, it's too funny. So look at my assault glock outfitted with a thirty caliber magazine clip and a bump stock, which lets me fire it on full semi automatic and put out seven hundred rounds per minute, which I could do for five minutes because of my high capacity jumbo clip. Calm not down. a word of that makes Calm sense, down. by the way. Brad, are you gonna Calm. quit yet? Calm. <laughs> should we? Should we move on to the video? I'm, I'm fine. Let's just keep going. Let's do this. Let's see how far we can drive you into the ground. All right. Oh, yeah. believe me, if this, if this week hasn't already, let's just fucking see how far we can take. Yeah, it. open up that my circle link. It's. Uh, uh, that's, uh, that's he's in. Let's do this. Let's enjoy. Making sure okay. that we don't have high capacity rapid fire magazines that allow mass killings. Maybe we shouldn't have high magazine clips. Gas assisted receiver firearms. Machine gun magazines. And what sounded like automatic rounds. Seeing if we can get automatic weapons that kill folks in amazing numbers. If I wanted to fire this on full semi-automatic. Well, why do we need <laughs> jumbo clips? The best do building you know what a barrel shot is? Particular time. I actually don't know what a barrel oh, shot okay, is. I believe it's, in your it's a shoulder thing that goes up. No, it's not. What <laughs> the District of Columbia is trying to do was to... I just, I just fucking love that about, about like, with Tucker there. We're just like, I believe it's a shoulder thing that goes up. And she's like, no, no, it's not. <laughs> you seem so sad. I didn't like Fox News. Tucker Carlson has made it somewhat bearable. Yeah. I, I, I don't necessarily like Tucker. I like watching him, though. He's entertaining. <laughs> he's very... He's, he's, asking, he's entertaining. He's asking he, asks, he asks questions. That's the only reason why anybody likes him. Well, okay. <laughs> what I like about Tucker Carlson, is it's not like he carries a show with, like, sheer weight of personality or anything like that. It's just, like, he always seems completely bewildered. Like, it seems like he yeah, just kind of well, found himself in a room with this person. He had no idea this was happening until three minutes after it did. Uh, he doesn't actually have any notes, and he's just, like, sitting there like, So... What's, what's going on? Mind? And then, and then, <laughs> this so the person will be like, well, uh, the one that comes to mind is, like, the Bill Maudman. It's like, well, global warming. It's like, so how does that work? And then he just asks questions, and it's like a two-year-old asking why over and over again until eventually you can't answer. Except he's not asking why, he's asking, like, okay, so, like, uh, how many years until the ice caps melt? 
You know, yeah. questions <laughs> that seem like they make sense, and and a lot of times they do, but they're just I don't know. It, I, don't, it's, I don't. I don't know if you guys caught what he did. Uh, I think it was earlier this week, but uh, oh, I know it's International Women's Day. Let's have an entire section about men's problems. Yeah, <laughs> that was fucking great. No, uh, I like that made me love Tucker Carlson. Oh, I'm like, uh, oh my god, Tucker. <laughs> Oh, cut the tuck. <laughs> Ignore that sound. It's, it's International Women's Month. Let's have a let's have a spot every Wednesday, all month long, talking about men. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tucker Carlson is a god. All right. I, like I I, 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 I don't I, I it's just <laughs> I la- last the, thoughts I about it. Tucker. I I don't like uh, honestly. I think he's probably a really decent guy. I'd, lo- I'd love to chat with him sometime. I don't think he's an any like intellectual giant, but oh no, he's like, just good at asking questions. No, but that's exactly why he's great for this because you don't want somebody. Well, you really want to get to the heart of an issue. You don't want somebody who's really really knows what the hell they're talking about. Um, at least if they've got an audience, because then that person is going to ask like these, like they're going to be like, okay, I get what you're saying, and then ask like some other question. But you don't want to move on from that. You want to get this into terms a fourth grader can understand. And I'm not yeah. saying like you know bat it down. Yes. For, I'm not calling anybody stupid here, but you want to get it down to those barest points so that anybody can look at this with no knowledge about it whatsoever and really get an idea of what's going on. And that's something yeah. he's really good at. You know, he's really yeah. good at taking things and just bringing him down to that level and saying, let's get simple. And that is well, a has, skill, he, for sure. Yeah, he, he, yeah, he, well, he just asks questions. That's all he does. So but he I, asked good I really questions. appreciate that. You know, there's a difference yeah. between asking good questions and asking shit questions. And he's asking really good ones a lot of the time. I, yeah. I got a lot of respect for the guy, but not in the ways that, that some people might, you know. Hey, anyway. Yeah. Carlson. Tucker Carlson, if you ever want on the show, just uh, hit me up. Hey, at James Boogley on Twitter. Hell yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, I never check my Twitter, so contact Jables, but yeah, I'm totally down. That'd be fun. I mean, uh, be, it would be a huge continue. boost to your media presence, Tucker. I mean, obviously, you can let us it, continue right? with the triggering. Yeah, Brad, I really want to see how many bread triggers we need to turn the show into an assault weapon. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I think All right. you're right about the fucking pop this bitch off semi straight to auto. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Protect toddlers from guns. It is harder to buy cough medicine than it is to buy an AK-47 or 50 of them. Bullshit! Where?! <laughs> All right. So, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play it again. Just It is easier for a teenager to buy a Glock than get his hands on a computer or even a book. It's legal. In Somalia, uh, maybe! <laughs> Oh, that works. Like, Brad, Brad, we were, we were talking, uh, uh, sorry, oh, right, Jables, we were right, talking about right. this earlier, and I think you said, like, yeah, it's easier if you don't know what a library is. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yep. It's easier if you don't know what a Barnes & Noble is, you can just read the books there. Or, like, here's the thing, you know how easy it is to buy a book? Go to a library, borrow a book, and just don't give it back. They'll make you buy it. Exactly. <laughs> no, this has not happened to me. Yes, it has. A lot. <laughs> uh, it's like you just read the books, put them back on your bookshelf, thinking they're yours. It's like, oh shit, that was a library book. Yeah, it's more like I checked out like seven and finished the first six fairly quickly. Uh, I was Seth trying to be nice while long, long, God damn kind it. of forgot. <sighs> trying to be I nice, gave man. the book back and they still made me pay for it. Well, yeah, it's called Late Fields. No, yeah. no, I paid the late fees. They're like, no, you just got to replace the book. I'm like, I did! Here! It's there! It is replaced! It's on the shelf! <laughs> Your library sucks. <laughs> yeah, it's all, it did. It, I'm it glad I get a sick pack of summer shandy right now. This is going to be fucking tough, man. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm with you on this. I've got maybe not even enough rum. All right, let's keep going. All right, let's keep going with Danny Feinstein. With 15 round, 30 round, even 150 round magazines. Oh my god, no, 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 no. Uh, do you have a problem with that? 150 round uh, magazines okay, cannot okay. exist, they're called belts. Um, okay, actually, no, that's not quite true, because there are, there are drum magazines that can hold at least 100, I know that. Yeah, 100? Um, I, I, anything I, I, over 100? I, I, I cannot tell, I, I have never seen any magazine go above 100, and even that's stretching it. For those of you who can hear that sweet, succulent sound of pouring rum... Yeah, that's... Uh, it's actually me peeing. Uh, no, no. I, no, I, no, you know what, Jables, this I, would, I would believe your piss counts no. as an alcoholic drink at this point. No, no. Would so, before we go any further... Sourdough? So, before we go any further with this, so that way we all know, I am not an expert 
I am knowledgeable in a few areas. I'm not an expert. Just whenever I hear a 150 round magazine, I'm just like, that's not. Uh, what about God. a 30 caliber magazine clip? Does that, uh, does that make you feel good? Does that make you? Oh, I should put raspberries in this drink. This would be awesome. It makes me feel like I want to fucking mow down an orphanage at the end of the day. So <laughs> it sounds like to prevent school shootings, we should have people actually uh, learn how to properly talk about guns. Not for, you know, widespread knowledge and everything, but to just not no, trigger just people like Brad into shooting up the school. People. <laughs> it's almost like having honest discussion uh, might get to the root of issues. It's almost like defining your terms isn't a bad idea. So, <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to plug it going. And that shoots off 700 rounds in a minute. Pistols are different. You have to. Okay, <laughs> 700 <laughs> rounds in a minute. Yeah, that, that triggered me. Let's drop. Let's drop. Okay, let's drop this down for a minute because I did. I did talk to Rimshi about this a little bit. He he will be back on. Oh, oh. Uh, hey, Rimshi. Rimshi, you want in? Let me Rimshi, know. Rimshi's we're back. He's uh he's able to get called on. Oh, we're just gonna add you then. Uh, hold on, I can do this. Yeah, Rimshi's right now, he's in VC1 waiting for you guys, I bet. Well, he's, he's in the DMs waiting for us too. If I could find the bastard. Rimshi, I don't know about your parentage, I don't know how uncertain <laughs> it is, I'm still going to call you a bastard. I'm uh, a bastard. Is he here? No, it's still... <laughs> there he is. Hey! Yeah, so, so, when Rimshi and I were talking about the, like, you trigger him in a moment, we, we can wait. Um, the whole, uh... Oh, no, no, I, I have something to say about the, the mags right now. Uh, oh, go right for now. it, go uh, for it. 150 round drum does exist. It's it's actually two drums put together. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, like I said, like I said, people, I'm not an expert. I'm knowledgeable in certain areas. That was one I just had never noticed before. So I, I I actually didn't know that, but uh, I decided to check it, and a quick Google search brings up images <laughs> and, <laughs> and articles. Oh God damn it! So I'm gonna make Rimshi stop being a ghost for a second here, and bam, Rimshi's here. So, <laughs> and, and I am about ready to pour myself some beautiful scotch. Good. I'm gonna uh, put I'm raspberries saying, in fucking, this fucking monster hours, of huh? a. Actually, you know, what? I need to drink some so I don't overfill the cup. But no, man, I I'm six sticking with my 18 year old scotch. I'm not going to my 21 tonight. I don't want. Well, you're not going to waste hard my good shit. stuff. Don't don't uh, waste uh, your 21 uh, tonight. Uh, it doesn't deserve it yet. This shit ain't worth it. <laughs> I have a nice young but, bottle of Ben Williams. Don't don't waste <laughs> your scotch that is old enough to drink scotch on this. <laughs> God damn. So we're gonna find out how the we're gonna find out how this tastes because I basically just poured rum. Uh, some some ginger ale, mm. which is actually surprisingly decent ginger ale, and a bunch of raspberries into a cup, and I'm gonna see if this tastes good because it probably will. But if it doesn't, uh, fine. Well, you know how drunk are you to start with? Because that's a big factor. Um, <laughs> not enough. Did you muddle? The, did you muddle the raspberries in the bottom of the glass? Or, no, or I just dropped them in there. What do you think I am? Some sort of, <laughs> you know. He's gonna fucking master right now. of things. I don't, I don't care. Let's talk about guns. Okay. Kind of glasses in Findel. I'm just the kind of guy that has a full bar in my house, so. I don't because I don't have money. <laughs> that it, it that took, sounds like a very good excuse. It took years. It took years the greatest excuse, Waffle. <laughs> it's a pretty good excuse. Yeah. All right. You know what? I just found the website with the uh, with the 150 round drum. I'm gonna send it to the the group chat. Oh, beautiful! <laughs> that'd be great. So, that'd so be great. one of the things that came up when uh, when when Rimshi and I were chatting about this earlier is uh, 700 rounds a minute. Let's think about that for a second. All right. So, uh, se 700 rounds a minute, it, or do you say 700 or eight rounds in a minute, or 700 rounds in half a minute? If they say half a minute, they're fucking lying. Well, even, yeah, even, even they, in a minute. I mean, you're still talking yeah. about over 10 rounds a second. A minute is still highly possible. U.S. Army has shit like that. Yeah. You're still talking about over 10 rounds a second. There are things that can yeah. fire this fast. They're called mini guns. 11 and a third rounds a second. Yeah. They, 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 <laughs> yeah, Captain, yeah, Captain Chief uh, saying 700 RPMs uh, out of anything short of a warthog? Yeah. Question mark? <laughs> like, no, no, a mini gun can do that. A mini gun can do that right. and a lot more. And I will, each individual, I, I, a mini gun that's each individual barrel. Yeah. It's just you got the fucking cyclical thing going, so you get over 3,000. Well, yeah. you well, get no, over no, no, 6,000 in a minigun. That's not quite how, what, like, the whole deal with miniguns. The reason why you have a rotating barrel on, on a minigun is because the thing shoots so fast, and consider you yeah, are a containing no, it, explosion, there's a lot of gas need. there. The issue, yeah, no. the issue, for those listening, in, in case you didn't know, 
Uh, this is something I do know about guns. Um, there is <laughs> there is actually a big issue with firearms with warping the barrel from heat if you, you know, fire oh, yeah. too much and too fast. So what a minigun does is because it has several barrels, it can, you know, lessen the load on each individual barrel, and so you can get this absurd fire rate. Um, it's like, but you're only firing out of one of them at a time, generally speaking. It's like, no. what, 10 barrels, uh, uh, 10 barrels attached to the machine? Only one of those is firing at once, and at the speed it's going, it's cooled down by the time it's gotten back. Oh, yeah, yeah no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, so that's, uh, turns out that's I actually mean, a cooling issue, you know, which I find kind of interesting. Dreadbell is saying in the chat, apparently an MG42 does 800-ish in a MG42. minute. MG42. Uh, that honestly depends, because there are diff there are variances between each individual one. But, All right. Yeah, I'm. I'm just saying it's popped up in the chat. Um. Okay. So so MG42 is not a minigun. It's a it's a it's a machine gun. Um. Yeah, it's a yeah. machine gun. Uh. So it's it is German. it is German. a it is a uh, it, Mauser, it's Hitler's buzzsaw. Uh, Mauser general purpose machine gun. Yeah. So designed in Nazi Germany. So like I yeah yeah I, I could I could believe that for you know a weapon designed for it, but but that's a gun that you know you set up on a damn tripod. You're not going to hip fire the damn thing. It's not because oh, it's no. too heavy, but because there's, there's, you're not going to be even remotely accurate. Point is, if point you is, want something, yeah, go, go ahead. ahead. Oh, I was going to say, any, okay. pretty much anything civilian owned, you're not going to get that kind of fire rate. Yeah, that that's true. Um, in fact, the only thing that that uh, comes to mind right away that could do it, and I just double checked this, is the uh, the two, uh, M240 Bravo. That mm -hmm. could, in theory, be fired from the shoulder. In fact, it, it uh, you you shouldn't, but you absolutely can. And it'll go. It, it has a cyclic rate of between uh, six hundred and fifty and nine hundred and fifty rounds per minute. Are we? Are you sure you're not talking? Uh, uh, well, hold on. Or are we talking two forty? Two forty, Bravo. Okay, just making sure because people always mix those two up. It pisses Dreadbell's me off. Dreadbell's talking about fifteen hundred rounds per minute. Oh, uh, oh, hold on. He said uh, MP forty two. Oh, okay. I don't know why I had a fucking blank. Yeah, no, that's that's Hitler's buzzsaw, quote unquote. But uh, again, just like a motherfucker. Yeah, they they apparently carried replacement barrels because uh, it'll oh, melt the yeah. barrel by the end of the chain. Yeah, no. Uh, <laughs> that's you, assuming you that if you just hold it down. If you, you think never minigun sounds terrifying, gun. if you think miniguns sound terrifying, that thing must have been awful. Yeah, at it, the time. At the time, at, yeah. at the time absolutely. <laughs> but in in general, it's still like consider for the moment for anyone listening who doesn't know guns or knows people who doesn't know gun or don't know guns and don't really know how to talk about this kind of thing just consider that there are really really serious physical limitations to how guns can work and and all a uh, uh, huge amount of the innovation that we've done because guns have advanced is about getting around those physical limitations using different materials using different you know mechanisms to compensate for a lot of different stuff but consider just i i, I like thinking about older technology with this kind of thing because it's simple and easy to think about think about just like an exploding shell, all right, for, like, naval combat. You've got a ship going by, it shoots a, a, a cannonball out of a cannon, and you want that thing to be full of gunpowder and explode. Just think about how much stuff you have to do to make that thing work properly. You have to make sure that it doesn't explode in the barrel of the cannon. You have to make sure that it's stable enough that you can keep it on a ship without it exploding before you even load the damn thing, which is really hard with old gunpowder. Then you have to somehow make it explode in the enemy ship before it leaves the enemy ship. You don't want it to pass all the way through. So, and, and you need it to actually fly straight and true and all that. So all of a sudden you have to build a ball or maybe some other shape that you can fire out of a cannon that has like a timed fuse on it that doesn't get set off by itself, that's not going to get set off by, you know, the... the uh, the, the actual heat and explosion of powder in the cannon. That's a whole lot of really crazy stuff that you have to do. And, you know, so, so that's, that's stuff people wrestled with, like, you know, 600 years ago. Walk up to now, and we're still dealing with really similar issues, at, at least in terms of just the physics of things. You know, how do you make sure that the barrel of a gun doesn't mushroom out and split apart? You know, like you see in Bugs Bunny cartoons with a blunderbuss where they try to shoot and it's clogged and it just explodes in their face. Also, by the way, kids, kids... You know? For those of you at home, don't fucking put your fingers on the barrel of a rifle. It will not rebound back at them. No, no. But the, the whole the whole point that I'm getting at here is that these are really, really, really complicated machines that have gone through centuries of development and change and innovation, just like anything else we have. Cars now are almost unrecognizable compared to car the first cars that ever showed up. 
So really keep that in mind when you're talking about this stuff. There's a lot of complicated stuff yeah. going on that if you're not an expert, which I'm not, there's no way in hell you're going to understand if you don't really do the digging. <laughs> okay. If, if you uh, want to learn about firearms, feel free to come into the, uh, into the Discord. I will be ha happy to explain firearms to you. Like Brad said, I am no expert either, but I am quite knowledgeable. Yeah, um, also, if you, if you guys, like, if you want to know a lot of the gun control debates and stuff like that, uh, say what you will about Steven Crowder, but he actually has a really good series of videos about gun control. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. And, that, that is an uh, issue. That's, that's those are where well. he really shines. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Other than that, you can rag on the guy all you want. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, he knows about his guns. Is that damn mm -hmm. Canadian? I have my yeah, issues with the way he talks about climate anymore. change, because I know more about it than he does. <laughs> yeah. But. yeah. Um, I just want to mention this real quick. Uh, Merck tagged me in a, in a, in a post that they put in shitposting. About Syrian refugees are being housed in the same hotel as a furry convention in Canada right now. Oh, that's not going to end well. That's not going to end well at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, yes. There will be fur flying, fucking blood everywhere. <laughs> if it does turn oh, into a bloodbath, sure. if it does turn yeah, into a bloodbath, do they they just as a goat and be like, Justin mm. Trudeau and not the guys. housed in the, same, in the same hotel as a furry convention. If, I'm not <laughs> saying it will, I'm not saying it will, but if it turns into a bloodbath, I will laugh very hard, <laughs> briefly, and then feel absolutely terrible about it. <laughs> but then yeah. probably still laugh Only a little bit. Only because the sheer amount of money that went into those fursuits. Eh, no, more than that. More than that, you know. Yeah. You know well, if fur starts stuff. to fly, my money's on the furries. Well, they, got, uh, they got some pretty high-quality fursuits going on there. Yeah. Well, you guys have already got me on beer three. Well, we've got some, right. in that case, we've got some pretty, uh, you know, high caliber. Uh, we're, we're, only, we're only halfway we're only through the fucking video. video. We're only halfway through a ten. <laughs> or, so, no, we're only halfway through a two minute video. <laughs> well, to be fair, Look last week Discord. we we took the entire time I was on to get through that two minute or two minute eleven second video. It's fair enough. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's go. Ass. Bam. <laughs> Pull the trigger each time. An assault weapon, you basically hold it, goes. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, I still need the my circle link. No, those <laughs> are fully automatic. Uh, I can fix I this. She's about to say something. She's about to say something. So Dreadbell's a guy. Yep, yeah, Dreadbell's a dude. No, no, no. Uh, the the lady that's interviewing this guy. Oh, yeah. she's about to say something. Yeah, she's about to say In something. Video. Okay, so this right here has ability. Yeah, she was just saying that that was fully automatic clip. weapons. To disperse with 30 bullets within half a second. 30 bullets in half a second. Let's think about let's this for do just a, quick a minute. Math on that. No, let's just think two about this for a minute. Three. Oh, hey, I can, I can do math. So, 30, 30 bullets in half a second. That is 60 bullets a second. How many seconds are a minute? 60. 60 times 60 is 3,600. Yeah. yeah. You're talking minigun territory with that. In a single barrel. <laughs> By the way, for those who didn't know, I went ahead and looked this up. A barrel shroud is actually a thing that goes around the barrel of a gun so that you can hold it without it burning you. Um, yeah. yeah, you see the forward pistol grip, uh, the, the the thing that that's all checkered uh, right, right in front of the upper receiver around the barrel? That's a barrel shroud. It's just there to protect your hands from the heat of the barrel. It's like an oven air cooled. It's like an it's oven mitt much... for a gun. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, you can do stuff with it, like put rails on it, but it's only there to protect that your hand from that the That thing heat. doesn't have a massive rail system. It's got the little under barrel for the fuck or little under rail for the fucking yeah. Yeah. It, 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 It's got oh, yeah. it, it doesn't That's have good. much railing. It's mo that one there specifically is just the checkered pattern to let out the heat with very minor uh Picatinny rails. Pretty much. That's the type mm -hmm. of rail system, by the way, for anyone who doesn't know. Yeah, Picatinny is that one that's just like, oh, it's like notched and shit and you can adjust it easier. Actually, on that note, what are the rails? Because uh, I'm pretty, hold on, I'm pretty rails. sure that this is not a rail gun, so... <laughs> no, it's not a rail gun. Uh, <laughs> I'll let Richie describe like, it. 3600 okay. sounds pretty feasible when we went to full auto shotgun using bird shot counting each individual pellet. Uh, <laughs> that's not how that works. <laughs> Okay, so the different rail types, uh, at least that come that I can think of off the top of my head. You have the uh, uh, dovetail rail style, which is mostly used in uh, hunting guns. It, it's just two grooves on the side of the uh, the receiver or the barrel or whatever you're attaching the um, 
the the site too, and you you have a specific mount that just pinches that. Picatinny rail is what what is on the side of this uh, rifle right here. It's sort of like a dovetail, except it's got cross lines. It, it, it's. Uh, but the uh, rail is for it, sticking from the side. Notches. It looks like a ca side of a castle. It, yeah, notches. They're, they're that's notches. For. So it's got notches down the length that uh, that a uh, bolt or or a screw of some sort just slides in between, and it helps keep it more stable in that location. Okay. Then you've got M lock and key mod, which, to be fair, I don't know that much about because I haven't really used them that much. Okay. Um, there is a little bit of a competition. I forget which one's the better out of the two. Um, one of them has been shown to uh, break a lot more often and be a lot less reliable um, than the other, and it's starting to be left behind. But like I said, I don't remember exactly which one that uh, uh, that control system or uh, rail system is. Okay. So, but in in general sense, uh, the reason why you would want a rail system on a firearm is so you can put something like a scope or a flashlight or whatever on it. It's it's an attachment yeah. thing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, in fact, I will pull up some images real quick. I can show you uh, a better image of a Picatinny. Okay. Uh, let's see. Because well, what one he's one having right there, it's very of... minor. It's there's yeah. there's other ones where the entire barrel shroud is practically a Picatinny rail system. Let's there's see. the Picatinny. Let me let me go ahead and pull these up so that people can see it. I'm going to go ahead and copy link. And that also, it looks like it might also have M-Lock on it. Uh, the Picatinny would be the one on the top, and the M-Lock is the holes on the sides. Uh, for those who just saw the entire st uh, stream go black, don't worry. Everything's fine. I will fix this momentarily. I know it looks horrible, yeah. but don't worry. But I might I might die. But it's it's yeah, J might Jables die. might die, but that's just because Jables naked na or naked and not wearing any protection. Jables just can't hang. He just can't yeah. hang, man. Well, I, I am All right. naked. But... So so that yeah. that that image there on on the stream is what Rimshi just sent to me. So it, I am guessing it's the top bit with the notches there. Um yeah, so that's you, you would be able to put something there, kind of have it lock into those grooves, screw it down, and then you have an attachment that's going to hold hold pretty steady, right? Yeah. Who sent and who sent that uh that picture about the nuts foregrip? By the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you mean the one that's basically at the very end of the fucking barrel? <laughs> uh, speaking of which, I actually I actually do have to uh, pop in an image here. Just you know, actually, we'll do that after the video. Let's get through the rest of the video, and then I'm going to show you the the ridiculous thing that Rimshi sent me a little while ago. Um, <laughs> even I'm interested now. Yeah. yeah. So, three, two, one, and go! Use these silencers to make them more available. Which, <laughs> as you because can the imagine, hunters, their ears were hurting. If you want to protect <laughs> We've already been over this that <laughs> silencers do not make a weapon silent. They make it quieter to the point of not necessarily damaging your hearing, but it's still absolutely very, very audible. Oh yeah, yes. no, it's, it's gonna. It, it's within a hearing safe range. That's all a silencer is designed to do. If you have uh, ever put in earplugs and then used a jackhammer, you will know that you can still hear it even through the earplugs. Um, there are certain silencers or suppressors, as they're more accurately called. Thank you. That will bring the term down, or the, the term. What the fuck? Tone. Will bring the sound down to a much lower decibel level than what is needed to be safe for hearing. But even those don't bring it down to the movie sound. Right. The fucking Jason Bourne like, shit's wrong. Like so, yeah. so you might you're still going to hear a loud noise if you don't know what it is. You might not necessarily think it was a gunshot, but you're still going to hear a noise. And if you do, you're going to go, "Oh, there were shots fired. Maybe I should call nine one one and tell them that, or something like that." It's not a, "Oh, hey, there's a secret agent down there, and no one can see him because he's magic." It's a secret agent, man. Yeah, yeah. Secret Agent Man. It's it's, it's <laughs> Secret the, Asian Man. The Secret inter, Asian Man. The interplanetary man of mystery who is psychic and has luck powers. Also, the more powerful the powder charge, the uh, the more bulky and, and beefy the uh, suppressor has to be in order to bring it down to that safe level. Wh which is why I said that you can have a silencer okay. rated to bring it down to even further into the safe hearing range. Um, those those smaller cartridges don't require as much. De uh, dampening as say a 308 round or a so <laughs> 50 would, BMG, which 
I don't well, think they we, make we any silencers for. Out of curiosity, yeah, we, would a muffler on a car be a good comparison here? Um, not in actual action, but in principle, sort of. It, it allows for the expanding of the hot gas. Okay, so it, but the, the the idea being that it makes the thing quieter, but you're still going to hear a car engine. Oh yeah, yeah. Unless it's some of those dumbass fucking hybrids, the electric, the electric engine, they actually had to give us sound so people didn't get fucking run over. <laughs> All right, so so not going to say too much about this, but I work at a place where I have to move around a lot of cars, and uh, the hybrids always screw with me so much because what the, <laughs> no, it's it's really funny because what they'll do when you turn Does them on, start? engine doesn't start. Engine doesn't for some of them, the engine doesn't start until you actually step on the gas, and then when I stop at like the gate to go swipe my card and open the gate. Engine turns off. Sound feel, It feels and sounds exactly like it just stalled out. As soon as I put the foot on the gas again, engine turns on again. It's so <clears throat> weird. I know exactly <laughs> what you mean because Mrs. Rimshi has a uh, has a Prius and I've been driving it when anytime I'm with her and it's hard to get used to. Now, are we talking like older Prius or like brand new almost off the line? Um, It's, I think, two, I think older Prius three is still years old. Oh, so it's one of the newer ones. Yeah, I'm pretty sure old Priuses still had sound. One, one of the funny, uh, one of the funniest things I saw about Priuses was it was like some guy saying like, "Yeah, I fitted my whole crew with Priuses. Real good for sneaking up on a motherfucker." Sir, to this <laughs> part, <laughs> that, was on, uh, that was in weeds. That was in weeds. Oh, that's where yeah. I saw that. Oh god, it's been years. Yeah. Oh man, <laughs> that's an old show. Oh, fuck, old as fuck show. God damn. Let's hear more trigger. Let's hear more trigger. Yeah, let's hear more trigger. So, Let's hear Joe Biden talk about double-barrel shotgun. shotgun. Put that double-barrel shotgun and fire two blasts outside the house. If you ban them in the future, they have... Yeah, oh, wait, 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 this one. I, oh, I, I gotta admit, I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna roll back there, because I don't actually understand what he was talking about, nor what the problem was. I don't either! Uh, uh, okay, so that that's, that's an old one. Joe Biden was talking about gun control and how all you need is a shotgun to protect your home. However, he was talking about firing the gun into the air, which is fucking illegal. <laughs> and also, there's also several. There's a few. Hold on, pause it. In certain states, if someone is coming through your window for home invasion, you can shoot them. But if they fall outside your house, it is considered murder. Wait, what? They fall, <laughs> that's, that's I'm not fucked. lying. Self defense, like self defense, only applies within your home in certain states. Also, in uh, other words, wait for like them guy, to get all like the way inside, guy. then put one between the eyes. In, exactly. In, actually, funny thing about that. In my state, there's some funny stuff with the legal stuff here. Uh, don't take my word for this because I could very easily be mistaken, but last I checked, if you are defending your home in my state, you ha you really, really have to shoot to kill because if you wound them badly enough, they can sue you, they can sue you for grievous bodily harm. Well, that's like, Even that's if they were breaking into this. your house. Yeah, uh, there's also fucking this thing called Castle Doctrine. Which I believe where I live has it. Where I don't know all of these details, but basically, if someone's on your property and you tell them to leave and they don't leave, and you've given them multiple warnings, you can shoot them. There are <laughs> a fair few states that do have that. There are also a fair few that don't quite have that. It, it's oh, or some man, version it's of it. it. It's funny with what I've been looking up, like looking into lately. I actually know way more about privacy law because of the past couple of weeks than I really should. That's a thing that I'd love to talk about someday, but there's a lot of cases yeah. where, like, in states, let's give a very specific example, there's something called the right to publicity, and some states have that enshrined in law by statute, some of them have it in case law, but not actually enshrined in a statute, where, like, if you go and get into a court about it, it's like, well, this previous case did it this way, but it's not as reliable, <laughs> Uh, yeah. There are some like with there are some states that don't have it, it, castle law in statute, but in case law, it's still kind of there. It's weird. Do your own research about this. Like, look up the if if you want to defend your home, by all means, look up the gun control laws and the self defense laws in your own state because it does vary by state, and it's important to know. Uh, I can tell you right now, if you're in California, they just want you to retreat to the furthest uh, back room in your your house. And wait and, for police. Uh, <laughs> and wait for the police. If you fire around, yeah, you could still win that court case, but uh, you're going to have to deal with a fucking court case. And actually, I, on, on that note, uh, I watched an Iraq veteran 8888848s. Eight, 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 
8888. Yeah, 8888. Thank you. Uh, video the, the other day about... Um, I can't remember which one it was, but it, one of the things he was suggesting was specific, a specific shotgun for... I think it might have been like guns for college students. It was weird. It was kind of a fun video, though. Um, Wait, those but, college campuses that allow guns for students? Uh, well, you're he, talking about a guy who's from Georgia. Do you really think that the schools around there give a shit? A lot Go of them. Away. A lot of them will allow a firearm <laughs> in your car, like in the parking lot, but not like on premises. Other than that, uh, unloaded, of course. But the. Uh, it, one of the things he was recommending is like, hey, look, this shotgun's pretty nice. You can you can go shoot at range. You can go, you know, do clay pigeon shooting, it, like all kinds of stuff. But the nice thing about a, sh uh, a shotgun, depending on the shotgun, is that they'll pretty much shoot whatever you put into them. And there's a lot of different things that those shells can be loaded with. So you could put something that shoots a beanbag in there. So you could well, have yeah, a lot at, of less the... than lethal rounds. Uh, I mean, and well, granted, you can still kill somebody with those. But, like, you can have a less than lethal you know, payload in there for home defense and that kind of thing. So I don't well, know what the right, laws in that in California so are, but if you're uncomfortable hurting that, people, actually. there are options. Yeah, I, I, you yeah, know, I'll go ahead and link his channel and in, in, sorry, sorry to keep cutting you off, Jables, but I'll go ahead and link a Rock Veteran 8888 or 8888's <laughs> channel in this description uh, or this week because the channel is useful. There's a lot of good information. You might not agree with him, but if you want to see a good breakdown of a firearm, how it works, what are the advantages, disadvantages, how to get started, all kinds of stuff like that, Good meltdown to check videos. Out. Yeah, very good. I, I actually have a, I have an interesting story. Uh, the the same friend who uh, who shot, himself shot himself. Leg. Fucking dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> he yeah. uh, when he met his, his ex girlfriend's dad, mm -hmm. he he had sitting out in plain view two shotgun rounds with fresh wax on the end that he had just filled with rock salt. Hmm? <laughs> wait, wait, wait! Yeah. The girl ex or the girlfriend's dad? Yeah, the ex girlfriend's dad. I like this guy. <laughs> <laughs> he, they, he's still friends with him. the The ex girlfriend's a dumbass, but the, he, he still, uh, him and her dad, are still, uh, still, at least as far as I know, still talk or are still friends. It's okay, it's see, friends. That, that's 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 how I feel about my ex's dad, Tom. If you ever see this. I love you. You're a great guy. I want to talk music with you again. Please don't believe anything Your she says about insane. me. Your daughter's insane. Yeah, don't believe anything she says about me. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, let's oh, keep going with this video before the entire stream's over with. Let's do it. <laughs> if you want to protect yourself, get a double barrel shotgun. Put that double barrel shotgun and fire two blasts outside Pause. The house. if you ban him in the future oh, it... okay i want to go back to the start of this section real quick but uh before that what he's trying to say is scare them you may as well have blanks if you're gonna do that yeah now blanks can't kill not very easily yeah. but they i'm, can I'm going kill. to make a bit of a joke later but in this case what you do is you have two shotguns one of them has blanks one of them doesn't you walk out with both actually, of them you fire the blanks into the air and then you pull out the real one in case they stay actually they have a shotgun that has two separate magazine tubes um That's really and you can neat, switch actually. between them on the fly that sounds awesome. That is a really clever thing to do. Link like me that. this shit, my dude. <laughs> I, I saw it when I was in San, when I was uh, on duty in San Diego, uh, or still active duty. My my roommate and I went to a uh, a gun uh, gun store because you know I needed to get a uh, a part for for the rifle I wanted to build, but wasn't able to build yet because I was in the barracks and you know all that bullshit. Bread. Yeah, most of you probably bullshit. don't, but bread knows that bullshit. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I have and, military uh, friends that I kind of understand. Um, and, and so while we're there, we're just looking at the guns uh, uh, in, in the glass case and on the wall, and there, there was a shotgun. I'm like, oh, this is cool. It, it's got two magazine loads, and you can switch between them. <laughs> yeah, it's perfect. You can put blanks or, or beanbag rounds or, or rock salt in one side, and then on the other side you've got buckshot, slugs, whatever you want. Well, that could also be fantastic for uh, that could be fantastic. Wax slugs. Yeah, uh, that sounds interesting. I'm not gonna lie. That oh, does. Yeah, wax slugs. Like basically, you take yeah, bird shot or something like that, and you pour wax into the slug, and it uh, uh, you, you or, or no wait, you empty out the the uh, the bird shot into a, a container. You put hot wax in there, and you um, mix it all together, 
and you scoop the wax and the bird shot into the into the now empty shell and fill it up and you make sure that there's plenty of bird shot in there along with wax the bird shot keeps the wax from breaking upon a uh, detonation of the powder and the the wax keeps all the bird shot together so that it flies <laughs> in one round very accurately to target hold, hold on and Richie. impacts Richie. Hold, hold on um is this breaking any legal grounds? No, no. <laughs> okay, okay. You're okay. reminding me of stories. You remind me of so, stories so from K uh, on Fortune, wherein like a guy got really interested in custom loading his his shotgun shells, and he ended up like setting the backyard on fire because he accidentally loaded one of his custom napalm shells to shoot a squirrel. Yeah. Oh, dragon's breath! Fuck yeah! <laughs> uh, if you want to learn more about wax shells, I'll, I'll bring up the. Uh, I'll post the. Uh... The channel in the uh, group chat, so you can put it on the description later. But uh, Tau Flater Mouse. But yeah, uh, I don't know a lot about shotguns. I do know they are like one of the most like fucking malleable round types you can ever have because you can. Oh put god, there's so you, you so just load whatever the fuck you want in there. Well, well yeah. what I what I will what actually on that note, I'm I'm gonna be quick about this, but the names of things are really important. They, they they a lot of times they give you a really good idea of where things come from. So when you say you know, oh, you've got two different, you know, ma magazine tubes and you can put different, you know, different stuff in them. I'm thinking putting in birdshot and buckshot because if you've got the right hunting licenses, you could go out and there's a bird. Shoot it. There's a buck. Yeah. Shoot it. You know, and, and yeah, that's, effectively. there's a reason why these are names. Birdshot is for shooting birds. Buckshot is for shooting and bucks. Rishi, yeah. if you ever, uh, if you ever find a link or some sort of website where I can find that gun, let me know, because I am in the market for a new shotgun. Yeah, yeah, I I, I will look it up. Um... Actually, a brief thing that just comes to mind, and again, I'll be brief about this, uh, we'll talk about this again on another show at some point, but I've lived in a rural area for a long time you know, long, long portion of my life where bears are an issue, mountain lions are a big issue. A lot of my friends have had, you know, the, the, yeah. the family dog just kind of disappear, disappear, you know, uh, or or even not so, not not so nicely disappear, but like they actually saw it got get taken and get eaten. Uh, mm -hmm. It's, I, I mean, again, I live very rural. Like the nearest village was twenty miles away. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it's. When you think about it from that perspective, any of you who live in cities who are thinking about gun control from a, a strictly city perspective, consider that these are tools for the frontier as well, where you're going out and it really is, you know, man versus wild and, you know, your homestead versus the elements. And but places like that still exist in this country and others. So just yeah, I, consider I, for I, a I moment can, that what applies in a city doesn't necessarily apply everywhere else. Just, just. Think about it from both sides. I can talk about the time that I pulled up to my friend's house and there was a fucking black bear sitting on his front porch. Yeah. <laughs> but no, <laughs> Fred, Fred, we will get to AR-15s in a moment, so let's finish out the video. But don't you, know, you don't need an AR-15 to hunt a bear. I think I need an AR-15 modded out the way Rimshi showed me you can mod one. <laughs> oh no! That's crazy shit, man. That's crazy we, shit. we should get into it. We, we, we will. Oh, let me, yeah. Let's just finish out this video. Uh, let's hope we don't have to pause at all. But let's go. Oh uh, yeah, we have plenty. If you ban them in right. the future, the number of these high capacity magazines is going to decrease dramatically over time because the bullets will have been shot. <laughs> Wait, wait, oh, God, okay, wait, everybody shut up for a second. No, everybody shut up for a second. I didn't hear what she said. Let me just listen. Just cover your mouths, bite, bite your finger if you have to. I want to hear what, how stupid this is. Give me a sec. ...more available. But some of these bullets, as you saw, have an incendiary device... Wait, I fucked up. Hold on. Yeah, you didn't go back. Yeah, you gotta go back a lot. Uh, clearly I need to drink more. ...over time, because... Yeah. It's right. to uh, it's, not letting, it's not letting you go back. Okay. okay, we're good. We're good. Go back a little oh, further. Go, like five seconds. Five, five, five seconds. Five seconds. There we go. There we go. Right there. Outside right there. Outside the house. If you ban him in the future, the number. Okay, of go back these again. What the fuck? What? Fuck you, my circle. Go back, okay. Go back even farther. Just go back extra far, cause it. Go back. Yeah, it's working fine for me, but. 
There we go. Go ahead. Ears were hurting. If you want to protect yourself, get a double barrel shotgun. Put that double barrel shotgun and fire two blasts. What? Okay, so outside. to avoid avoid that bullshit, what she's saying is, um, if they're banned in the future, the number of high capacity magazines uh, will disappear because the bullets will have been fired. This makes no apparently sense. Apparently, she thinks that you buy a magazine full of bullets and you can't reload it. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> go watch The Dark Knight. Remember that part where the Joker is by hand loading rounds into a magazine, and this is how he lures Batman into a trap by putting a different fingerprint on it. And yeah. Yeah, you can do that. Yeah. <laughs> In all honesty, I thought it was cooler when he fucking made the pencil disappear. I mean, that was a good trick. I still don't know how he did it. Where did it go? <laughs> Where did it go, man? I don't fucking know. Some dude's on the ground. Somebody, uh, somebody that goes around to bars and does magic tricks. Actually, standing uh, offer, if I... anyone wants to do a show about magic tricks, I am down because I I did, oh, yeah. I, I, did, I did a lot I did, I did a lot of magic tricks for a long time. Um, and, yeah, and just in general, the way my brain works, I love puzzling out how they work and everything. And like people like Penn and Teller are, are just heroes to me in a very big way. Yeah, I, so, <laughs> if any, yeah, we should do that next week. Yeah, if, uh, if, if anyone I in... Magic, I do magic every week and have bars for free drinks. Nice, dude, that's uh, badass. That's but awesome. yeah, if anyone if anyone in the Discord, like, you know, either does magic or wants to talk about it or has, like, some tricks that they've seen on YouTube that they, they would love to just kind of go over, I don't necessarily want to go, like, go and reveal all the secrets, but I would love to... Happily, uh, just have a show about that. It's it's a it's I, a very I very a, clo dear right. interest of ours. I, I, have a YouTube, I have a YouTube channel to share with you, Waffle. So uh, we'll we'll talk, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that later. But it's just open open thing to listeners. Anyone's interested? Let's talk. Let's go. Okay. If you ban them in the future, the number laggy, of these the high-capacity so magazines pause. is going to decrease dramatically over time because the bullets will have been shot and there won't be any more available. But some of these bullets, as you saw, have an incendiary device on the favorite. tip of it, which is a heat-seeking <laughs> device. So you don't shoot deer. No! <laughs> <laughs> a bullet is... If you do a bullet is lead and oh copper God. and or steel and, and or whatever the hell you put on there. There is no such thing as a heat-seeking bullet. You know what? <laughs> g g give me one second here. I'm just going to do a thing. Uh, you, Wait, you guys are there... No, no, no. It's what important. Are you doing for me? <laughs> isn't there uh, the whitest kid you know? Uh, nah, it's, it's okay. So, so. Bullet? Ba basic intro physics, everybody. You know what the first thing you do when you're uh when you're, here? Let, let's let's uh. You know what the, the first thing you do when you're you're solving a physics problem? Real simple. Let's just go ahead and view this image. Uh, open that up. Hopefully that's working. Oh my god, that's terrible. Oh god. Okay. You know what? Back. You done fucked up, Waffle. I I might have fucked up a little bit, but it's okay. It's okay because you know what? Y'all are gonna learn some physics. So I don't know. In this image, waffle, do you see, so see this thing. <laughs> if, you, if you use Chrome, you can zoom on the page. No, no, this I know. This is this is Firefox. Don't worry about it. But so okay. So, so, you can do the see same this, with Firefox. Yeah. See, yeah, I know, I know, but that that makes sense. Let's not do that. So see this thing here. <laughs> this is called a free body diagram. This is a box which represents whatever your object is, and you see these arrows coming out of it. Those are forces. You want to change the way a thing moves. This is all you know, Isaac Newton and stuff. You got to push on it with a force somehow. If it's moving, you want to stop it. Push on it. If it's not moving, you want to make it go. Push on it. If it's moving, you want to change its direction. Push on it. Makes Wanted sense. Wanted doesn't fucking work. Yeah. Makes it. It makes sense. Very simple. Great. So when you shoot a bullet, there are three things acting on it. There's the initial force of the explosion that stops acting on it after it's exploded and left the barrel. All right. After, after that, barrel, you have yeah. gravity. Okay. Gravity is going to pull it down. Then you have friction with the air, which is going to slow it down. It's just going to be a force backward against whatever direction it's moving. Great. All right. Makes sense. You want to make something seek anything, track anything, change direction mid-air? You have to be able to push on it. How are you going to do that if there's no nothing on the bullet, like no booster jets or anything? Unless you're saying we're shooting or like high-tech mini rockets, it well, can't do that. Well, 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 there, there's one thing that you're... Absolutely wrong about. 
Magnets! I'm saying gravity because we live on a flat Earth. Gravity still exists <laughs> according to flat Earthers! <laughs> No, no, flat earthers believe in gravity. They're just stupid no, about no, it. No, 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 they don't. They're they dumb don't. then. Because because how the science goes is the reason why we have a globe earth is because of gravity. So you can't have gravity with a flat disc or square earth because it would if you had gravity it would form into a sphere. Funny thing about No, no, uh, no, there's there's a funny thing about that. You want to know why everything on earth falls then? It's really funny. This is actually one of the they, ideas. They have weight. They have weight. No, 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 no. It's yes. way better than that. It's just that you have this disc that is the Earth that is accelerating through the cosmos upwards. So anything you oh, drop like is not accelerating with it and so falls and <laughs> looks like it has gravity. So you just have this disc oh. launching through the, the yeah, like like through through the fucking cosmos, <laughs> accelerating indefinitely, and somehow it never hits the speed of light, and it's goddamn oh, hilarious. You know, God you know one thing I do love about the flat earthers. <laughs> Just because they had to reject the, they had to reject round Earth, and because gravity is what makes the Earth round, they had to reject everything Isaac Newton has ever done. Just about yeah. <laughs> Point All is, right, the reason I showed part. you that, that's like basic, basic, basic physics. When you're dealing with physics, free body diagrams is like the first thing you do when solving most problems. So consider for a moment, you have a bullet. If you want it to be heat seeking, what is acting on it? What is pushing on it? Unless it's got little jets on it or you have a massive magnet that can somehow pull the, the bullet to you. Nothing. You're not changing where that thing's going. All right, I'm going to hit button. The funny thing is this blade is from the 90s. I can guarantee it. Yep. Hey, you can yeah. cook it at the same time. Uh, that deer deserves to get away. <laughs> you can cook it too. I, mm -hmm. Let's talk to Paul Dean about that sometime. I can cook probably get racist. Off a fucking AR barrel from fucking firing so many goddamn rounds from it. Does that mean I'm gonna do I, it? I think no, I've I seen a video where someone did that. One yeah. of these days, we will talk about boiling vessels and just how obsessed the British are with tea. Because my God, it's amazing, and I have stories. Here, the but, LSD viewers, science, science, <laughs> and tea. <laughs> I'm Max, like Max, Max, if we're gonna, it. no, Max, if we're ever gonna, yeah, you, if you're listening, Mac, Leslie Maxwell, if you're listening, one of these days, <laughs> we will have an LSD episode about tea with you, and we're going to talk about how the Germans almost shut down your entire country by bombing the tea. <laughs> <laughs> he knows what I'm talking about, too. <laughs> no, he knows what I'm talking about, and any, any avid student of military history does, too. You know why? It's one of the most effective propaganda strikes in history. And it's one of the best tea kettles the harbor. Yeah, yeah uh, over, uh, over 100% tax. Oh, no, that's it, we're good. Okay, there we go. Wait, wait, no. Oh, fuck this guy. God damn it. What the fuck, General? <laughs> what? Was see that, that guy? General? See, no, see that general. guy? Look at general. All I can think of when I see that is, you know, show me your war face. Ah, that's a war face. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, one other thing. Uh, so, so, first off, I'm going to go ahead and just toss this up on top of everything. Uh, hang on. That's Waffle. not right at all. Let's Waffle. fix this. Hang on, that's that's not right. Okay, we're just gonna get yeah, it. What'd you do wrong? There we go. There we go. So this is the attachment. Uh, for, for, uh, Brett, hopefully you'll be able to see this. Uh, if you if not, uh, Rimshi, I trust you to send that damn crossbow upper thing. Uh, oh, I saw it already. I, in fact, I will send it right now. I have it up I on the stream for everybody, already. but I want everybody to know that that uh, is uh, an AR-15. Remember, everybody, if you're oh, going the crossbow attachment. Yeah, if you're yeah. if you're going to hunt with a crossbow. You don't need an AR-15. That's an assault rifle, right? You need a you need an AC-15, assault crossbow oh, 15. <laughs> well, let's I'm let's be crazy. let's be super I... clear about this. This is an AR-15 lower receiver, as far as I know. Um, you know, like yeah. you see the stock there. Like basically, what's happened here is you take you take the upper receiver, which is the part that ha that fires the bullets. You know, um, you know, and you. I'm not gonna lie here. Replace it with a crossbow. I'm not even mad. <laughs> Dude, I want that. I no, I want that. If I owned an AR-15, I would go out and get that attachment just to say, like people say, like oh, I've got an AR-15. People are like, oh, you have an assault rifle? It's like, no, it's a crossbow. So, uh, uh, don't forget, <laughs> don't forget the uh, don't forget so, chainsaw bayonet for that too. So, so just because of all these crazy fucking attachments, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of this gun channel. It's called Demolition Ranch. Yeah, go ahead and send me a link. We'll put it in the description. So, put in the chat. There is an upper receiver. That can fire cans from an AR platform. <laughs> it's wonderful. It's called a can launcher. 
It's can can can. Demolition Ranch do a, uh, yep. do a video yeah. about a yeah. an Go look at Demolition Ranch. They got some crazy rifle. Shit. That's a sniper rifle. Oh yeah, that was funny yeah. too. <laughs> yeah. So it, that that sounds fun. So I I gotta say. Well, oh well. No, here's the thing. It's, it's not tech, it's not technically a firearm uh, because it's an air rifle, but you can you can hunt with it. It's you can basically kill things a, with it. It's like. It's like so the fucking you, you guns, like to, crazy uh, ancestor. So, so one you of the things that comes to mind for me, and uh, uh, Konami, I'm sorry, um, but one of the, one of the things that comes to mind for me with, with a lot of this stuff, I'm gonna go ahead and pause. Oh yeah, again, ignore that sound. Awesome. Uh, yeah. So it's it's guys, don't comment. The stream can't see it just yet. So. Oh shit. I no, it's fine. Oh shit, that was weird. Don't worry. Spoilers, but they're not my fault. Yeah, yeah, they are. I don't know. They're, I don't, they're definitely I don't, I don't my fault. Talk. So one, I don't know what you're talking about, Waffle. So, so one of the things that just kind of came to mind for me, I was, I was talking to Rimshi about this, just in, in, in general, mass shootings, right? If I remember correctly, mass shooting is, uh, it's not over 10, I don't think that's the exact it's number. It's over 4. It's over 4. Oh, three. over 4. So, uh, yeah, yeah over, killing four. over 4 people in one incident, usually with one perpetrator, that's, that is, that happens a lot. That happens a lot, a lot, a lot. But when we, when we hear about mass shootings and in the news, it's usually... I almost said it's usually school. That would have been bad. But even so, it's usually... You're not wrong. Close to 10, a, let's say. So somewhere between... Let's, let's say between 7 and 15. Somewhere around there. So, I was thinking. We keep wanting to ban rapid fire weapons. Which we have. We keep wanting to ban, you know, bump stocks. Whatever all these attachments are. We keep wanting to ban uh, all kinds of different weapons. Assault rifles, quote-unquote. Whatever the hell that means. And I was thinking... Well, let's see. How fast can you shoot a revolver? Not a single action revolver, let's say a double action, because if it's a single action revolver, you could just fan the hammer. And let's let's just pretend that that option isn't up to us. We actually have to pull the trigger each time. Like full on the Great. Okay. You mean OG semi auto? So let's, <gasps> yeah, so so this is not even a semi automatic weapon. This is this is you know, you're not using any recoiled reach into you know to chamber around, nothing like that. You ha it's a revolver. It is entirely like just this mechanical device, you can see how it works. You can fire six shots out of a revolver pretty damn fast. Oh yeah. Okay. So let's say you have five minutes. No, let's get let's be a little more generous. Let's say you have ten minutes to fire off a bunch of rounds at a school. You could kill ten people uh, with an AR-15 easily, or, or, or again, not the crossbow. The crossbow would be pretty difficult to do that within ten minutes because you know you got to. Have you seen Daryl and... from Walking Dead? He can do anything, man. Point point is, you you could use that with you know a Tommy gun, whatever. You could do a lot of stuff with that. But let's say you had a revolver, and let's say let's be generous, let's be a little bit uncharitable here and say even at really close range with unsuspecting people, you're only going to hit half of your shots in a way that's going to grievously injure or kill somebody so you got three shots we're talking six shooters here we've got three shots per revolver all right and oh that doesn't sound like too many but because you'd have to reload and let's say you don't have a speed loader why don't you just carry hey, two uh, revolvers uh, uh, like your two shotguns hold on. hold on guys uh important breaking news update uh oh no 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 jeff on the saints tonight uh jeff has apparently lost a friend uh, Pinky's up to Luke. Um, Pinky's up so. to Luke. Much respects for him. I, see, yeah, I, I don't know who Luke is. I but drink to Luke. As Sorry far as Luke. I'm concerned, a friend of Jeff is a friend of mine, and I will absolutely drink to him. Yes. Um, so, to, to finish the oh, thing, was, so we don't go. Uh, it was Mems' cousin. So Gosh, I heard it, yeah. I, I saw oh, that. My sincerest, I saw that my sincerest condolences to Jeff, to Mems, to anyone who knew Luke, because... Pinky's up and cheers, guys. Yeah, reg I regardless of how you feel about your family, for losing all of family's us here. hard. Everyone. To Luke, take a shot, take a, a sip, just put some alcohol in your mouth. Take five swigs. And if you don't, if you can't <laughs> drink alcohol or won't drink alcohol, pretend find you're going water, to, grab some, some water, water, do it. Take a toast to the man. Straight from the bottle. Goddamn right. And a moment of silence. Oh. Now, not to step on Luke's memory at all. I, I <laughs> actually, I think that deserves my twenty-one-year-old. Yeah. Twenty-one-year-old. Yeah. <laughs> not, not to step on yeah. Luke's memory, but I don't want to cut into the Saints at all. So let's kick, kick a little, 
kick, kick, kick a little forward with this. The, the whole point that I'm that making is shitty. that you, you, we have, we have this we have this idea that like oh well you could just have all these bullets in your magazine and fire them all so fast, but. With a revolver, you only have six, but what if you had two revolvers, and obviously you run into a problem here. Now, you have two hands, sure, but maybe you're going to be really accurate. But with two revolvers, you can, and again, assuming 50%, you know, kill shot accuracy, you can only kill six people. That's... Six people are still dead. Six people are still dead. That's too many. Still counts as that's mass a, shooting. That's a mass shooting. It right still there. counts as mass shooting. Yeah. But let's get it up to newsworthy, shall we? In which case, you gotta have three revolvers. In which case, I want all of you to remember that ocelots are proud creatures who prefer to hunt alone. Oh my god. Prefer to hunt alone. Ooh, that 21-year-old scotch. I'm a big fan of 21-year-olds. <laughs> And meanwhile, I think the shot is like in the face. <laughs> You're pretty good. You're pretty good, kid. shots. And you see, the problem with Ocelot is after that fight, he loses horribly, and Snake tells him, You need more shots. And he's like, You're right. And so he starts carrying out three revolvers, and that's when you meet him with long hair in the later games. Or earlier you know, games, depending on who you ask. Point all is. All I can think about. Is basically Ocelot's doing this crazy shit. Meanwhile, Snake pulls out a fucking nine mil straight between the eyes. It's, Boom, bitch. It is worth noting that I have actually seen people do that routine. It's damn impressive. If you want to learn how to do gun tricks and gun spinning, that's a whole like other world. And the school of Ocelot. For the, for the love of God, man, check it out. It's cool stuff. It's really, really cool stuff. As far like rifle spinning is a thing, like in marching band, you know. But if you want to learn your pistol tricks. Check it out. It's 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 fun tricks to learn. Good at bars as long as it's not loaded. Um, yeah. Now safety first. Remember safety first. But I, as as much as I love referencing Metal Gear because Metal Gear is lovely, the point still stands. It's as far as being able to put out rounds here, a lot like like put out rounds and being able to kill people. My my personal opinion on a lot of this is that the issue is not necessarily all these attachments and all these little bits that you can do it with because even if you get really primitive about things, it's really easy to make a bomb. A while ago, we saw a mass stabbing, you know, where seventeen people were grievously injured. I don't know how many fatalities. Wasn't it's, that China? Uh, that I think it was like five or six. Still easy. E even even so, th this is one of those things where. We've already established the guns are very complex. It's there's a huge depth to the subject. These are really, really intricate and and just interesting pieces of technology that have a huge history of development. And then on top of that, they're not the only instruments of death out there. So because this knowledge is not widespread, because people don't understand them, we get these weird conversations where you in and you have somebody saying, you know, oh well the the Mag high capacity magazines are going to be gone because the bullets will be gone what I think we need here even if you're sitting here and hating every single thing we say, hating everything we laugh at hating us for who we are and, and, and what kind of opinions we hold regardless of what those might actually be but whatever you think <clears throat> we think do yourself a favor and learn as much about these things as possible, either they're going to be interesting and fun or you're going to know more about something that you hate uh, this is not a lose. There's no way for you to lose here. Please continue. All right. Um, one, one big thing. If, if you're anti-firearms, if you're anti-Second Amendment, and you start using terms like assault weapon or you start using terms like uh, clip instead of magazine, is it clip specifically, uh, a, a gun person, most gun people at least, are going to look at you with a little bit of – uh, uh, okay, does this person actually know what they're talking about? And they're start gonna, gonna start questioning everything you say. If you use assault weapon, or if you say uh, gas, <laughs> if you say some of the shit they've said, like gas, gas assisted receiver firearm, firearm, you're you're yeah. just gonna be completely ignored because they know you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. So the best way to, if you are truly anti firearm, the best way to convince someone who is pro firearm to agree with you is to um, go ahead and make sure that uh, you know hey, what yeah. they know. The more you know 
point. The more you can talk to them from their perspective. The more you can talk to them from their perspective, the more likely you are to convince them of your position. And uh, on that on that note, I I also I highly recommend Stephen Crowder's videos because he nails down the Second <laughs> Amendment and, and he has a uh, he he talks about guns a lot. There's a there's a fun little video that he has where he has a bunch of guns laid out and some with wooden stocks, some with metal stocks, and some of them look military, but they fire the same rounds as some of the ones with the wooden stocks, and people want to ban the ones that look militarized. Here's and a prime example the, the wooden in the stock uh, ones, group chat. Uh, if you want to throw that up, waffle. Let me let me take a oh, look yeah. at it. In in general, take I, I specifically with Crowder. I, I'm not a big fan of Crowder personally. Um, yeah. But one of the things that I will I will say is the man knows his guns. There there are definitely some at, some things that he's very knowledgeable on, and those things worth paying attention to him to on. He he uh, articulates his arguments well. He knows his stuff. He's and and he's good at illustrating it. And not only that, but when he's talking about the Second Amendment, a lot of his stuff is very well sourced. Most of, or most of the sources that I've seen from him regarding the the Second Amendment have actually been original documents from the Founding Fathers, either letters of correspondence or commentary on yeah. the Declaration of Independence and the Bill of Rights, which is very, yeah, very useful if you want to start talking about the intentions of the Founders. The, that, that's the only reason why I shot him out, is because he's very well first, well versed on the Second Amendment and the, our rights to guns and everything. Especially so, for a Canadian. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think that's why he's so well versed on it, is because he had to he, learn he it. Wanted, he, he had to learn it. Yeah, but uh, like if you look at the image on the screen, you see three firearms. One has a clearly wooden stock, one has a more sporting looking stock, and one has a uh, an appearance that would be synonymous with what these uh, gun control advocates would call an assault weapon. Here's the reality. That's all the same firearm right there. That is the, that is the same firearm. Those are all... Uh, Ruger Mini 14s. They okay. are very similar to the AR-15 in that they fire a 223 round. They have very readily accessible 30 uh, round mags. If you're not in a state that bans "quote unquote" high capacity magazines. And for those of you in the stream here, I'm gonna go. Oh wait, uh, that's. I can't so I actually clicked on something in OBS. Um, also, even if you don't want to take the time to educate yourself, feel free to talk to us. Oh, oh yeah, I will happily this. talk your ear off. Especially, <laughs> I, I'll always direct you to Rimshi because he knows a lot more. I I just have a very cursory knowledge of guns based on because of where I grew up. I, I'm gonna um, blow, I'm gonna blow this image up a little bit so that people can really really get a good look at these these firearms for the moment. So yeah, it, it's it might have looked a little awkward there, but either way, you can see this one thing that looks. In the middle one, you've got like this camel patterns. I mean, it's not a camel pattern uh, at all, but this wooden, wood, you know, nice wood grain pattern. Maybe sniper rifle looking thing with that grip. It looks kind of fancy and weird. You've got the thing with the the stock and, and the pistol grip, and just in general, the, these look very different. But they they're the same firearm. The internal machinery is the same. They fire the same rounds, and and they're capable of exactly the same things. Which one of these you would use is a matter of taste. Well, to be honest, uh, there is a bit you, – you have a bit more uh, control over the bottom two because you have two different axes of control. You have – you can uh, – with the arm uh, – with, with your bicep, manipulate the, the stock, uh, prevent it from falling one direction or, or the other by holding it between your bicep and your side. And then with the pistol grip, you have a perpendicular control surface that allows you to control yeah. it better, whereas um, – okay. With, so, the, so with the wooden differences. handle, it's all roughly in the same plane. Okay. Yeah, the, the bottom one looks a lot more comfortable to hold. So, so there, yeah. there, there's ergonomic differences, but the, the general point of the, the machinery inside being the same thing and the, the, the casing around it, which is what you're actually holding, that, that's the different part. The ergonomics, the grip, all that, but the technology inside has not changed at all. Is that correct? That is absolutely correct. Oh, yeah, got it. <laughs> right. So well, the difference you, is the if very if bottom one the... has a at least the very bottom one has a magazine. That's the only difference between any of these. But you would put that same magazine in any of the other or in the other two. Yeah, well, you could. You had the capability. You yes. Set up for it. If you had the capability, yes, you would. Okay. But uh, beyond that, it's like the muzzle device is different. The ergonomics are different. The appearance is roughly different, and the bottom one has a larger magazine than the rest, but they're all it's the just, exact same firearm when exactly. it comes down to it. 
Okay. Yeah. So and, I think we're pretty close to the ending point here. So, Brad, by all means, say what you're going to say. I was going to check in with you as far as time goes. Are we in, about? Uh, we, so we're okay, uh, especially uh, tonight's show is kind of... So, uh, yeah. so, so, so we, we, so, have, we right. have time to dick so, around here, but we're going to finish out in, in, you know, maximum probably around half an hour or so. Uh, so, yeah, Brad, I'll, by all I'll means, I, 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 I have a few closing remarks and, and that, that I will want to deliver, and when I do, I'm going to flash up a quick video in my circle. But other than that, by all means, everyone have at it. All right, so the whole argument that I've been seeing, especially ever since Parkland, was arm the teachers, arm the teachers. If there's more armed people, you wouldn't have as big a problem. And then you got... I look at this, and I'm thinking to myself, like, on, me understanding certain aspects of military history and how things work... Possibly on a battlefield. I've never been on a battlefield. I know it's a very fucking confusing place, just from what people tell me and what I've seen historically. There's this term called the fog of war, where you don't know what's going on and people can die because of it. If everybody in that school is armed, let's say teachers, let's say SWAT comes in or police come in because they have to get called regardless. They see an armed person walking in the hallway and you see someone with a firearm, you shoot regardless. You don't know. And people don't know what's going on. So whenever I hear arm the teachers, I'm just like, that's going to cause more problems than it is. And plus, teachers have a lot, or basically, you give them the responsibility of teaching your children. They are under intense amount of stress. It It's just, yeah. it's a lot of, too many moving parts causes a lot of problems. And it's the biggest thing that I don't hear a lot when it comes to, if more people are armed, then we never see this. If a good guy with a bad, good guy with a gun stops a bad guy with a gun. I don't know about you guys, but you fucking put 100 people in, in a room with all guns and someone decides to do some dumb shit or somebody gets spooked and pulls a gun. Nobody knows what's going on. Everybody, a lot more people are going to die because of it. So maybe a good so, guy with a gun could stop a bad guy with a gun, but a lot of the question comes in whether or not the good guys or the bad guys know who each other are. Exactly. It's <laughs> And it's... Yeah. It, it, the whole the whole thing comes down to the terminology, which it's it's a battlefield term. It's a fog of war. You don't know what's going on, and people can die because of it. Friendly fire is a problem. It, it you happens. You know, I I agree with you for the for the most part. That is a very accurate assessment. But at the same time, uh, an, uh everyone does seem to be talking about this from the perspective of once the shooting has already started. Yeah, once and the shooting has already started. If you have well trained people who the police know are armed. Um, on campus, you could avoid a lot of that. For example, they could be they, they could throw on a vest or something that they have to identify themselves. In theory, um, now that's all logistics. But moving past that, moving past the fog of war deal, because it's not a it, it's not an invalid argument. It's very valid. But at the same time, uh, the biggest issue isn't that the teachers aren't armed. No, mm -hmm. that no one on campus is armed. You, uh, when you're coming into, uh, when you're planning on doing a mass shooting, you're not looking for the place with the the heavily armed guards and the uh, potential to have a firearm around every corner. You're gonna look for the place that's what would be considered a soft oh, target, I'm somewhere not, that saying, has. I'm not saying that you're I'm not saying what you're wrong. It's just that people are oversimplifying. It is the problem I'm having. I I would agree with you on that. I, oh, no, I, no. I to interject here. To sort of illustrate the point with a specific, not a specific example, but kind of just, I guess, sort of a metaphor, let's say. Um, whenever I've been driving in Texas, and I've been to Texas a few times, whenever I've been driving in Texas, I've found that the drivers are very polite. <laughs> <laughs> Road rage, motherfucker! And it's not, because, it's not because any of them knows that I have a gun, which chances are I don't. But it's because, at least my guess would be, it's because everyone knows that everyone has a lot of power, or can have a lot of power there. Can be, you know, maybe one bad day away from something. I'm not saying that everybody tiptoeing in fear is a good thing, but a healthy respect for your fellow human beings is not a bad thing, and yeah. discouraging that um, is potentially dangerous. I, I had a I had to talk about something like this in the Discord earlier this week. Um, let's relate this even to martial arts. One thing that I've noticed is the people that want to start fights or say that they can finish a fight generally are people that don't know how to actually fight. Um, yeah. And one and 
especially people that have never taken any sort of martial arts. Because one thing that you learn in martial arts is that there's always somebody better at it than you. So, you have to go with that mentality. And not only you that, but you don't have to be better than somebody to hurt them. Which means no, that you, there's always someone better than you, and there's a much larger number of people who can really, really hurt you. Yeah, but that's all, like... Alright, so... Uh... Never mind, I'm not going to get into that personal story. Fair uh, enough. But, uh, and, yeah. Yeah, it was in a, it was somebody attempted to mug me kind of story. Mm. But uh, yeah. but one thing that a lot of people don't realize is that there's always somebody better than you. There might be somebody that has some sort of advantage over you, whether it be a gun, whether it be a knife, whether it be better skills in fighting. Um, and that's something that a lot of people don't realize, and it's the people that talk the most shit that you realize they don't know that. They don't understand oh, that. Yeah. It's called Dunning Kruger effect, and it happens most with guns, is what I've noticed. Yeah, a lot of people do that with guns. They don't know shit about guns. They think they're God. I mean, they, this is authority. to get back oh, okay, to what so. I was saying. Get back to what I was saying, real quick. It, it's not the fact that the teachers are armed. It's the fact that kids may think that someone in that school is armed. They're not. They're less likely to attack it. They're yeah, not going to go out to soft target. Hold on. It's, it's so, people understanding the possibility that somebody yeah. is armed is a yeah, different thing. I, I understand where you're coming from, and I guess the main point I wanted to say is that people are oversimplifying it. It's, oh yeah, absolutely. It's not yeah. an easy answer. It's just not as like arm all the teachers will be fine. Oh no, there's a it's lot not, more. It's not in. as easy as ban all the guns. It's not as easy as give everyone guns. Yes, yeah, and uh, there just, is a city <laughs> somewhere in Alabama or or Texas or somewhere in the south. Fucking Mississippi somewhere, every, probably. Everyone is required to own a... Uh, everyone, once they're the head of a household, is required to own and maintain a pistol. It has the lowest crime rate in the in the country, apparently. Um, I, and and, and, and well, we, we there, are, about, there are definitely certain countries... Control is racist. Yeah, well, oh, then, yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> let's not go there. Let's not go there. <laughs> but the, the let's point... Open let's that that in general, the point is that in any given situation when we're talking about country control, where if somebody brings up, you know, oh, this thing is the perfect solution, no matter what, somebody is going to be able to put an example in there that makes it more complicated. And that's not because oh, there's absolutely. a whole lot of gotchas. That's not because the person who's putting in the example or the idea that makes things more complicated is trying to trick you. It's because the issue is actually way more complicated. And this is a complicated issue. Simple answers much so. just won't work. Exactly. Right. And if, if you want, and if you really want to dig into it, by all means do so, regardless of which way you want to do it. But if you want to argue against, against people owning guns, understand them. If you want to argue for people owning guns, understand them. Either way, either way, either piece of this argument, it is a very, very, very good idea, even essential to 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 you know working with these issues to really do your homework and get invested and understand what the hell you're talking about. I'm not calling anyone stupid here, but I am saying, for the love of God, sit down, do your reading really figure this stuff out because then you will actually convince people who are on the other side but and, if and make people take better, you look seriously into, look into why the right exists in the first place That's i can like, i can explain that at length if you want it i will well, do so no, this no, if you want not, not, not do it here sure but i can <laughs> do it if you want it yeah <laughs> Contact Later like for, no for for sure. If you're in the Discord and you want to know about this stuff, like go ahead and mention Rimshi at Rimshi. You know, go and get get in touch with him. He's happy to talk about it. I mean, I'm happy to talk oh, about it, but I don't know the Rimshi. YouTube Saints Discord, by the way. Also, just so Hell, yeah, YouTube else. Saints Discord. Yeah, YouTube Saints Discord. Discord. Hell, even DM me shit. I'll fucking try my best to answer questions as best as I can. If I can, I'll refer yeah. you to somebody else. Yeah. I will uh, find, yeah, if I don't here. have the answer, I will find the answer or find someone who has the answer. Exactly. I, I I'm not I'm not super experienced with guns, but I'm experienced with why the laws exist and why the rights exist and the all the arguments for keeping our Second Amendment rights. So feel free to message me about that specifically. If you want to learn about guns specifically, definitely go to Rice. Go de uh, definitely go Rice. <laughs> so, I, I, I honestly, I, you know what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. So, I was looking at the chat and I saw Rice. Hold on, Rice. <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah, hey, no, I, I, I'm just going to say right off the bat here, I don't know that Rice and I have ever talked guns, but hey, he might be a resource too, so 
Maybe contact him too. I don't know. Point oh, is, uh, talk to people, uh, ask people there. questions. You know, and, and, and doesn't take shit seriously as far as I know. And, he might. And, I uh, know. Rice, you rice still have to put up what you were gonna before. put up. I don't know what it is, but I'm curious. Oh, I know too. exactly what it is. It's great. Put it up. Yeah. Put it up. Okay. Okay. So the smarty rolling, man. All right. So I guess the closing <laughs> statements here. Just can, can if everyone's fairly done here, this is probably gonna be the last. Well, bit. I want to run through the safety rules just real quick. Oh, I'll run through the safety rules before I play this, and and yeah. Well, well oh, I also I have to do the outro too. But uh, yeah. all right, go ahead, run to the safety rules. Real quick, just a reminder: treat every weapon as if it were loaded. Never point a weapon at anything you do not intend to shoot. Keep your uh, keep your weapon on safe until you're ready to fire. Keep your finger straighten off the trigger until you intend to fire, and know your target and what lies beyond. Very nice. And with that, we have been your Lesser Saints of Discord. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Uh, we are the one and only pre-show to the YouTube Saints. Fuck Fat Pat and Sophane. Uh, <laughs> we love you guys. We, Come on, you follow Japels on Twitter. You, you know what we do. Fun. Why are you streaming yeah, while we're yeah. streaming? Yeah, Sophane, you follow me on Twitter, you fucking asshole. Uh, <laughs> we love you, but fuck you. Love you, Sophane. Uh, <laughs> uh, be sure to tune into the Saints. Uh, hop into the waiting room. It's going to be a call-in show tonight. Jeff is not going to be available because Mem's cousin recently passed. Pinky's up and drinks. For drinks. Um, 21-year-old scotch for Luke. If you want to have discussions about anything, if you have a problem with anything we say, you can find me pretty much every day in the YouTube Saints Discord link in the description. Kind Follow of me on Twitter, whatever. Get fucked. Uh, fuck you, bread. I miss your Christopher Walken impressions. And Do not fuck with me now. <laughs> I said no. Have a good night, everybody. Be sure to watch the Saints in about 15 minutes. A few closings. Right. Be safe with firearms. Don't fucking shoot people if you, unless you intend to kill them. All right. I've got I've got a few closing statements on this one. First off, uh, if anyone has suggestions for things that they want us to talk about on the show, by all means, DM either me or Jables or just a bunch of people. Get them to yell at us. That works too. Uh, we, we're yeah, really happy to talk about just about anything, so from metaphysics. But Case in go, point. But go go ahead. <laughs> send, send, send us some, uh, send us messages. Send us you know angry yells. We'll 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 talk about just whatever you want to come on the show. Send, let us know, like let us know. Send us DMs. Tell tell us what you want to talk about. We'll get something set up in advance. And finally, and send us send us news articles too. Yeah, send, send us news articles for sure if you want to see us talk about them and cover them. And finally, on that note, we'll we'll take a we'll we'll take a break for gun, from guns for the next like next several weeks. We won't get back into this for a bit. So. By all means, we don't intend to be a one-trick pony. Tune in next week to see what the hell we're talking about, because even we don't know that yet. Final closing <laughs> statements. Not all gun owners are like this. If you think they are, please reevaluate your opinion. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I have the power of God. <laughs> <laughs> Admittedly, I think the better version of this is with the to be continued JoJo arrow thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's my favorite version of it. But just remember, everybody, this be what safe. you what you see on the don't internet. Be, be safe. Don't don't make don't make judgments before you know you know what you're talking like you know that you know what you're talking about. And by all means, be open to be proven wrong. Be open to see complexity and issues and watch this show next week and give us money as soon as we figure out a good way for you to do that. <laughs> Don't give us money. Save your money for the boys. Save your money for the for the actual Saints. Have a good yeah. night, everybody. Sleep well. Watch the YouTube Saints well. Drink well. Pinkings up for Luke. And in honor of oh. Luke, we're going to have no outro, just a few minutes of silence where you can ponder Luke's life because you never knew him, but chances are he was a Jedi. <laughs> uh, be be sure to uh, hop into the waiting room because it's going to be a call show for the Saints this week. All right, everybody, have a lovely All night. Right. See me again, or Rimshi again. That'll be fun. It will be. Yeah. But in, in in any case, have a lovely night. I'm going to mute you three and close us out. Sweet. All right. Have a good night. Night. Uh, we we can still talk. He's going to be okay. Meeting us. Little does Jables know I hadn't muted them yet. I don't, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna mute us now. Have a good night, everybody.